Hey, what's up guys? It's Mike with Hell for Reptile and I'm back today with another video and I'm bringing you guys a video highlighting how Brian Barczyk's Reptile Zoo, otherwise known as the Reptarium, came to be. Now, before I get started, uh, as I assume some of his subscribers will be seeing this at some point or another, if you don't follow me on Instagram and you don't subscribe to this channel, you should fix both of those things. My Instagram is graphicphoenix1. I basically post all of my reptiles as well as reptile excursions on there. This YouTube channel highlights reptile related business, whether it's my room, Brian's place, or uh, other reptile rooms across the nation and or globe wherever I'm traveling. That's what's highlighted on this channel. So if you think you might enjoy, definitely click that subscribe button. In addition to that, I wanted to say a huge thank you to Brian and Stuart. Uh, Brian Barczyk, obviously, as you guys know, and Stuart from Universal Rock. They're both two of the most incredible people that I know, both extremely hardworking, and I really hope to work with them in the future. So I want to say thank you so much for having my Canadian ass out there for four days and putting up with me the whole time. Uh, I brought some friends, but they're slightly more normal, so. And before this video finally gets going, I wanted to throw in a clip of me holding RJ because, I mean, it's such a cool clip and it means a lot to me. I can't not put it on YouTube. So enjoy that clip and we'll be back here to rendezvous before we get started with the Reptarium build. This is RJ's abode. Uh, RJ is there about five foot, uh, probably 80 to 100 pound alligator. I'm gonna go swimming with him. I just have to make sure that I don't get caught by the uh, large alligator snapping turtle because that would be a trip back to Canada for free health care. So. Come here, buddy. RJ, the large, oh that tail's getting close to an uncomfortable <laughs> position. Alright, so this is RJ, the American alligator. Uh, you guys can see he's only got one leg, as it was uh, sadly taken by another one of his tank mates several years ago. But as you can see, alligators are totally cool with the uh, only three arms. And he is just a super cool creature. So this is a huge alligator snapping turtle. I don't really want to pick him up because I don't know how, but he is a big boy. Oh, get some shots of him. Oh my goodness! Honestly, I have to say that is one of the coolest parts of the trip in my eyes. Getting to hold an alligator and a giant alligator snapping turtle is one of the coolest things that I've done in a very long time. But that is not the reason why you clicked on this video. You clicked on this video to see me and my perspective of how the Reptarium was built. So I can't deny you that any longer. Let's get started. It all started with the trucks arriving at about 8 a.m. on Thursday morning and then utter chaos swept through and the work began. Just look at all those backgrounds. This is all going to be put into the Raptarium at some point. And would you look at that? Look at all the people standing there doing nothing. The trucks arrived slightly before the window was removed, so we couldn't actually move any of the tanks inside. Now that the window guys are here and removing the large window, we can begin moving in tanks. Once the tanks are inside, Hunter, Steve, and myself were in charge of attaching the heat pads to the underside of the tanks that needed them. After attaching the probe and the heat mat to the bottom of the tank, we then moved the tanks into their final resting position. The smaller tanks, as you can see here, are pretty easy to move, uh, it's relatively simple, however, when it came to the big tanks, we needed the expert Ozzy himself to guide us. Stuart, our guiding light, helped us out. Take a listen. We're at the bottom, all right? Yeah. Okay, you guys ready? One, 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 two, three, three, lift. lift. One, two, three, lift. One, two, three, two, three, two, three lift. lift. There you go. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. Lifting, guys? Watch Slowly. The board. Watch the board. Slow down. Board. Watch Watch the board. Board. Now walk this way. Okay, guys. Sorry, buddy. Sorry. Come this way. <laughs> okay. Watch the fingers. A 
slowly down now. Slowly down, keep going, keep going. Perfect. Everyone good? Yep. Down. Okay, so we're just coming through slowly. One, two, three. That's it. This board's no, out. This board's out. We're not. We're not. All right, ready. Ready. It's good. It's good. We're good. Okay, one more inch this way. That was probably an eight. <laughs> probably. Okay, the cords let us down. Now compare that to what we do when we're in charge of organizing and moving the tank ourselves. Eh, pretty uncomparable. Okay, who's on this? This one's on. Nobody's this side. Nobody's back. We just need people on front. Yeah, we're okay. just, just, uh, we, we have people on the back. About to get them lifting it up and setting it on. So do we have enough? I thought they were going to start now. 10 minutes ago, yeah. man. Uh, okay. All right, guys, ready? We have too many people on that side. We might have too many people over here. Yeah. Three. Yeah, we only need three on that side. Okay, okay guys, ready? Okay. One, ready. two, three, lift. Nice and slow. That was the last four. Okay. So yes, see if we can recoup people. Oh, 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 Half, like half an inch. Okay, we're good here. That first day was pretty crazy. There was a ton of people that uh, helped out as well as a ton of people that kind of stood around. It all came together in the end and I can't complain. Now one of the last tanks into the Reptarium was Lucy's tank. That is the reticulated python and her tank was massive. By far the biggest one in the Reptarium. Something like 12 feet by 10 feet by 7 feet somewhere along those lines. And while moving it in, it just scraped under the windowsill by less than three quarters of an inch. So good on you, Stuart and Brian for planning and just the precision that it took to get it inside the window was insane. Now the rest of the day was a lot of just moving stuff in, situating tanks, getting yelled at, uh, yelling commands and the normal stuff that goes along with a big project. But at the end of the day, it all went really well and we ended with this. All right, you guys, that is a wrap on day one here at the Reptarium. You guys can kind of see what's going on. We have the general layout. We have all the tanks inside. We have the 1,200-pound pond that has been moved by about eight or ten of us earlier in the day. Uh, there's rock work all over the place. There's Hunter being sly, and it is just looking incredible. I cannot wait to see the evolution of this and see how it changes over the next two days. I have another three days here, so I'm gonna be working my ass off. We're all cut and bumped and bruised, and uh, it's gone pretty smoothly for the most part. So this is going to be a wrap on day one, and we'll catch you tomorrow morning to see how this currently changes in about 24 hours. So we'll catch you tomorrow morning. Welcome to the start of day two. This is the beginning of what is most of the rock work and whatnot is happening today. We got a bunch of helpers going through, attaching wood. Uh, Stuart's back there somewhere. Uh, there he is at the very back there. He is going to be the one mostly installing all the rock work. And then uh, we got a couple people helping around. Uh, Hunter, Steve, and I have already done all of the lighting. We have put the T5 UVBs on top of the tanks and we just have to install them later on today. And then outside here, it's gonna get a bit loud. But out here we have Steve, Hunter, and I, and we're retrofitting these two tanks together. These are 48 by 24 by 24. Uh, zoom ed Rexy breezes, and we're basically going to be making them one large tank. All right, so this is uh, guacamole's Gamellar chameleon cage. We took this door over here, which is attached over here. We drilled holes for the hinge on this side, and we drilled for the lock on this side. So now it opens up like that. And then we're just going to take some Loctite and glue these two pieces together and then you won't even know.
Now while Steve Hunter and I were all constructing the new chameleon tank, there was a couple of fine gents out back that were cutting the wood needed for the Zoomed skyscraper tanks and they did a great job as well. Good job boys. And sadly, I didn't really film much for the rest of the day. As you guys probably have seen on Brian's channel, I really can't explain how much effort it was 12 to 14 hour days every day for four days straight. But with that said, here's the end of day update for you all to enjoy. All right guys, so that marks almost the end of day two and it has changed a lot. Uh, you can see the two land tortoises chilling here. This is going to be the tortoise pen. We don't know exactly what's going to be happening over here, just kind of toying around with ideas, but this tree is in. We got stands built. We got this ready here. And we have most of all the rock work done on all the tanks. I love that the in-between each, like these used to be just plywood boards right here. Now they're beautiful little tree stumps. Got tons of work going in. I totally skipped this middle part here, which is a dome type look of uh, Zoomed skyscrapers. A couple more terrestrial tanks here. Um, we got the alligator tank in the back. We're just testing out some lighting and just heat bulb and just seeing kind of what readings we get, how hot it gets, and just testing things out right now. But you see Stuart, the man behind it all. We got the real man behind it all. And we got back up to the front. So it's not huge, but it is a ton of work. It's been 13 hours that we've been here today. And that is two days in a row that we've been going for like 10, 12 hours. And we're still here. Grind never stops. Yeah, you got that right. <laughs> yeah, that kind of puts a wrap on day two. Little things will be done in the next hour or two, however long we're here. But that kind of concludes day two here in the Reptarium. Uh, things are really coming together. And I'll update you in the morning with what the plan is and what we get done. So we've already been here for a couple hours on day three, but it is looking pretty solid. Today is just a lot of details. This whole wall has gone up in a couple hours. Uh, we got some people stopping in to say hi to Brian. We got a lot of stuff going on. My job is to take this here nail gun and basically pin the rock to the tanks as much as I can. That way there's less foam and carving and all the detail work that goes into it so it just goes and makes the process run a little smoother a little faster you see i haven't gotten to here yet so like you can pin that in like that it's gonna be a long day it's already 11 o'clock we got here at about eight o'clock so i will hopefully come at you with a couple updates as to what brian thinks of it and how it's speaking of brian here we go hey brian what do you think so far well i mean i, I you know it's funny it's you when you're living it it's kind of awesome but at the same time when i started editing the footage literally two days ago what this place looks like compared to now made me realize how much we've done and how much you guys have helped it's I mean, insane without you guys i could have never done it but it is an amazing transformation i agree it has gone from an empty room like you guys saw at the beginning of this video and has now turned into what you see here it's incredible and we'll come at you with a little bit more work later on today now you guys heard me talking at the beginning of the clip that there was uh, a lot of busy work to be done today and that is now demonstrated by Stuart the man himself showing how we do the seams and the universal rock. Covering the seams themselves were pretty easy, uh, Stuart says it himself. No, okay, not much skill to this buddy. I don't know if it's quite that easy, but you know what? He does make it look really simple. Basically all you need is some silicone, some pigments, a glove, and some paint brushes. And you guys can see the process now. See, like it sticks out a bit, just come okay. back, make sure your brush is covered. It disappears. Yeah. It's pretty amazing. It's incredible. It's like magic. 
Now you all leave now. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> now day three was a little bit strange because Steve and I came to the consensus that we are going to get the pond working and after spending about three hours with my feet covered in frigid water, uh, you know what, while we were filling the pond I decided to have some fun with Eric and he's always game. Wait, you ready? Yeah. Alright, here we go Mike. Dude, you missed! I you went, you overshot. I, I get back here? Oh, that's not that bad. Oh, it's, not, it's not as bad as I thought. Okay, all right, okay. Yeah, we're, we're, good. we're good. We're good. Yeah. After several hours of troubleshooting with Stuart and uh, the rest of the team that was there, this is at about 10 p.m. or 11 p.m. that this clip was actually filmed. And behold. Did we turn all those ball valves down? down. <laughs> all right, all right. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Let's try this again. Oh. Much better. Oh, yeah. Much better. Look at that. Honestly, seeing this running was one of the best things of the Reptarium. Just seeing all this hard work and this massive pond that took about eight people to move it in place is something of a miracle, and I cannot wait to go back and see it now that it's done. Needless to say, that was kind of the cherry on top of a long 14 hour day. So we're going into BHB now. Uh, we just finished up at the Reptarium for the day. It's a solid 13 hour day for us. And we're going downstairs to see the mangroves because apparently one of their females laid eggs. So there's a ton of people here right now. But we're all ready to go see some baby, well, some mangrove eggs. Let's see what we got here. Alright, looks like three good eggs and a couple slugs. Oh. Wow. Come on, girl. It's okay, sweetheart. It's alright. It's alright. Come on. Come on, girl. It's okay. It's okay, sweetie. It's okay, sweetheart. Holy smokes. Thank you. All right, so it looks like what we ended up with was three good eggs and a couple slugs. Look at those beautiful eggs right there. And of course, Steve back there is the one that told me that these guys take like 120, 130 days to hatch. So we've got a long wait on these guys, but uh, I'm pretty excited. Yeah, it wasn't an entirely fertile clutch, but still three awesome eggs that I actually wasn't even expecting. So I am pretty stoked. What a great way to end this day. And just like Brian said, we are going to be wrapping up day three here. This is my last full day in Michigan. So tomorrow morning we'll be at the shop. Tomorrow I need to be at the airport for about noon. So I'm going to have a couple hours here in the morning morning and then head to the airport so I hope you guys learned something on this trip I know I had a blast and I met some incredible folks I will cherish these moments for the rest of my life and we'll catch you at the beginning of day four tomorrow morning that pretty much does it for my time here at the Reptarium we have done a lot of stuff today. Uh, in the last three, four days, since Thursday, it is now Sunday. We've turned this place from an empty building into the very beginnings of a zoo, and it is looking incredible. <laughs> uh, today is mostly just kind of busy work. So mostly today we're just gonna be like filling graps, 
Uh, we got doing a lot what Lori's doing over here, just kind of filling in stuff and then covering it over with the pigment. So you make gaps like that back there turn into not gaps like that up here. Uh, uh, Brian's back here, he's building a wall for the gator tank and uh, you can see that all the stands have been made. It is looking really, really good in here. I managed to track down Brian in his busy state here. Uh, how are you feeling? How is this all kind of turning out for you? I know it's been a ton of work and a lot of fun. Yeah, you know, it's, it's this weird kind of dynamic, right? Like, I mean, number one, I understand that, like, I'm making kind of my dream come true here. And with everyone's help, you guys are helping that. But at the same time, there's so much work, it's a little overwhelming, right? Because you gotta go, oh, I gotta do this, I gotta get this done, I gotta do this. It's amazing, you never know how many steps you need to take until you start. You know? Yeah. And uh, yeah. This, is, it's, this project, I knew it was gonna be big, been working on it for a long time, but it has been enormous and there's still so much to do. Yeah. With that being said, uh, it's amazing the progress we've made with help with you guys and everyone else that volunteered in four days. It's pretty yeah. incredible. It's an, I mean, it literally went from an empty room into what we see here. It's getting there, yeah, it's, uh, it's gonna be amazing when it's done. I can't wait to come back and check it out when it's all finished up. Absolutely. Well, Thanks again, for having me. No, I thank really you, brother. Appreciate no, I really mean, appreciate it. It's been you. an awesome time and I cannot wait to come back and check it out when yeah. everything's, everything's all done, everything's all finished up, there's animals in cages. And we could just have fun then. Yes, you that's just true. just have fun, no, no work, just fun. <laughs> <laughs> Hear that? I'm coming back. Yeah. We're doing it, we're making it happen. Yeah, absolutely, I, I can't wait, I can't wait. And that's actually gonna wrap it up, so. I want to thank you all very much for watching the video. If you like it, make sure you click that like button. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that, leave it in the comment section. I reply to pretty much every single comment, as you guys know. For those of you who came from Brian's channel, I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoy your stay. And uh, feel free, those who are watching, to click that subscribe button for more reptile-related content in the future. We'll catch you in the next video. Later.